Active learning methodologies are a set of strategies for teaching and learning. The student is responsible for their learning, focusing on existing knowledge and using it to develop further. Active methodologies are especially useful when focusing on competency learning. Also, learning is done cooperatively and provides a practical aspect to the knowledge acquired. One of these methodologies is service-based learning, so let's take a look at it. Service-based learning is based on applying knowledge acquired in the classroom. It also focuses on the development of skills and competences, highlighting social commitment and the development of attitudes and values such as empathy and solidarity. This type of learning is useful in any subject that can establish some kind of relationship with the environment that may have an effect on the people. It can be used in any level of education, including formal education, informal education and adult education. Service-based learning allows students to generate significant learning, increasing their motivation to learn and demonstrate a good academic performance. Also, personal and social skills are developed, resulting in people who have skills and strategies necessary to behave in an effective and efficient way in their environment. This methodology allows the teacher to evaluate more easily the acquisition of basic skills and to establish the relationship between the educational centre and the environment. To create a service-based learning experience in the classroom, it's important to follow three steps to plan and apply the experience successfully. They are prepare the experience, put into practice and evaluate the results. So let's see what each of these steps consist of. First of all, the basic elements are defined, specifying the service that can be provided to the, to the community and how it relates to the classroom. Then, the organisations whose activities related with the science are contacted. Finally, it's necessary to specify pedagogical elements that are related with the experience, how they will be organised and the associated phases. The second phase is about planning how to implement the experience. It's important to involve the students and have them participate in the process. Planning will help to specify how the experience and objectives to be achieved at the academic and social levels will be carried out. Once this is done, the project is implemented and learning is analysed. To end this phase, you have to carry out an evaluation of the learning acquired and the results of the service that's been provided to the community. The last phase is dedicated to an evaluation of the results obtained. These results are evaluated both individually and as a group. It's also necessary to assess the relationship between those involved in the collaboration. The teacher must also evaluate the effectiveness this methodology has achieved against the academic objectives, as well as its role in the whole process. An example of service-based learning is the organisation of a blood donation campaign. Students organise the campaign to increase the number of donors. The learnings acquired by the student are related to the area of science, related to the knowledge about blood and its components, as well the need to make donations. Also, communicative and organisational skills are used.